सो है गाइज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व लीड कोड प्रॉब्लम फोर फिफ्टी सेवन एंड दिस इज़ वेरी जनरल प्रॉब्लम दिस इज़ वेरी जनरल प्रॉब्लम दिस इज प्रॉब्लम अबाउट फाइंडिंग अ साइकिल इन एन एरे वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दैट वे हाउ वी फाइंड अ साइकिल इन अ ग्राफ सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गोइंग टू यू नो यू आर वी आर गोइंग टू यूज सम ग्राफ टाइप ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट टू फाइंड साइकिल इन एन एरे एंड वी विल एक्सप्लेन एवरीथिंग इन डिटेल राइट so the question says so many things i'm not going over that i'm just going to explain everything whatever question has said right so uh, what question has said let's talk about that so the question says that i i uh, i have taken uh, let's say the question says that uh, it has given uh, an array 2 minus 1 1 2 and 2 right so Uh, so in an our array the question uh, some values are given right and the values will be positive and negative right uh, okay so if i see this is 0 1 2 3 and 4 Th these are all indices right so if i start from here the value is given 2 then i will take two jump and i will be moved right here at the index 2 and the value is again here is 1 then i will jump one step i will reach 3 and then uh, values 2 then i will reach here as question has said that this array is circular so uh, if i take two jump i will go extra outside then uh, if the if the array is circular i will move two jump and i will be at the same spot which where we started from and you can see that our starting and ending point is same so we can say that there is a cycle right so uh, if the value is given 2 that means positive then i will move to the right side and if the value is negative then i will move to the left side okay so we uh, if you don't know how we can handle the circular array so what we do is what we do is we take the indices we take the indices let's say uh, let's say we are given an array right let's say uh, this is index 6 right let's say this is index 6 and i took 15 jump right i took 15 jump right i took 15 jump and this is a circular array then what will be our final index how i can find that i will just simply do is uh, the current index that is i plus the jumps and i will take the i will take the mod by the size of array so this will tell me that after 15 jump in an circular array where will be my final index right so i hope that you already know that index plus jump and take the mod by the size and i will get the final uh, final indices after k jumps or whatever jumps we are given right okay so uh, the first thing is that we can handle the circular part we can handle the circular part after taking some jump i can uh, find the uh, i can find the uh, final indexes right so this is first thing i have done it okay and the second thing question has said that the very important let's say the array size is 1 right do you consider it as a cycle because uh, if it is circular if if it is circular i will take one jump and it will come back to here right and no matter what the jump i take it will be always circular right so the question says that any case of unicycle will not be considered as a cycle it will not considered as a cycle if it was considered as a cycle every array would have considered as a cycle every array whatever question has said that every array would have considered as a cycle so that's why question has said that unicycle will not be considered as a cycle unicycle will not be considered as a cyclic okay okay so we have seen that unicycle will not be considered unicycle will not be considered and how we check unicycle if the previous index if the value of previous index right if the value of previous index or the in, uh, previous index is same as the current index right something like that if these values are same then we can uh, you know check for unicycle i will i will come on that in later moment and the second thing has said that in the whole cycle let's say uh, this is my zeroth index then it it went to 0 2 then it went to 3 and then it came back to 0 and we can see that there is a cycle right there is a cycle 
so in the whole cycle in the whole cycle in the whole cycle all the values whatever values must be here or whatever values must be here all must have the same sign all must have the same sign right all must have the same sign you can you can see that all have the same sign okay if any of them have different side it will not considered as a cycle right so these are some cases which we have to uh, solve while solving the problem right okay and the next thing what we have to take in mind and you know this is very general thing we already always keep in mind while solving a graph type of problem let's say okay <clears throat> let's say 0 2 3 0 is a part of a cycle right if i uh, 0 if i check for 0th index right if i check for our 0th index it will say me true because it's a cycle if i check for say uh, index 2 it will also say me the cycle because it's a, a part of a cycle so uh, every value every indices in a same cycle every value every in every indices in a same cycle will give me the same result so what i will do i will check for check for only those indices only those indices that are not visited right that are not visited because if it is visited already visited we will get the same result so that's why we will skip those things right and the second thing is to check to check i will use two two sets right two sets two visited set right the first set will be used to check to check where indices that are visited indices that are visited and the second set will be used to check the cycle to check cycle right and the third thing what i am going to say that how to check cycle how to check cycle let's say uh, <clears throat> it went to zero index to two index then we it went to three index and it it went to zero index again okay so uh, if uh, if uh, let's say i'm checking for this index again if zero is already in our uh, set if zero is in already in our visited set then we can say that it is a cycle because it has already visited right so these are the things which we can pretty much do to solve this problem i have already uh, deduced everything okay and one more thing that i have to check for every indice like let's say uh, if i start from uh, 2 if i start from the 0th index i might get a cycle right let's say i didn't get a cycle if i started from the second index right then uh, i will check for all those non visited let's say if i start from here uh, at this value 1 i might get a cycle right so i have to check for every visited every indices right those are not visited why not visited because if they if something that is already visited we have already got the answer for them right okay so let's start the coding part so uh, i am going to solve the whole problem in python so uh, you can pretty much solve in any language whatever you are comfortable with there is no difference whatsoever so let's start the coding right so first thing what i will do i will first uh, get the size of the uh, array okay and the second thing uh, what i have already told you that i will uh, check for every indices right so for i in range of n because i am going to check for every indices and i will check for those indices that is not uh, already checked how would I say that? Let's say I have made a visited set as a checked and that I will take a set. I'm uh, taking a set because, you know, checking in set is almost constant time and that's why I'm taking it. And then if I not in checked, only then I will uh, go further, right? And then I will say that cycle set i will again make a set for cycle and then i will make a uh, while loop if i in cycle set if i already in cycle set then i will return true because it's already there 
right let's say suppose i started with zero indices i went to two the three and then again suppose i went to zero it means zero is already there right so i will return true and if i didn't find anything i will return false right and now let's say i was not a cycle let's say i was not a cycle and currently my i is at a zeroth index right i need to move to the second index third index fourth index uh, whatsoever we have to move it right so so how would i move that i will move that by saying that uh, i will also store the previous one let's say previous equal to i and my current i will be after jump it will be i plus jumps what are the jumps nums of i right and then uh, what i will do i will take the mod by size which i have already told you that how we handle our handle our uh, circular cases so right now so now check for the now check for the <coughs> unicycle how would i check the unicycle how would i check the unicycle if previous equal to i means if our previous index is same as our final index means we started jumping from an index and we landed the same index it means it's a uh, it's a unicycle so i i can pretty much say that this is a unicycle check uni cycle check right and now the second thing that the question has said that if uh, values are different in our graph then also we have to in if values are different in our cycle we also need to return uh, right in that case what i will do if nums of previous let's say previous values let's say previous values was positive and our current value was negative right let's say previous value was uh, positive and our current value was negative if both are not equal in that case i will also break right in that case i will also break so uh, now uh, we have handled both cases Th this is unicycle and this case is for a sign difference okay so now i think we are pretty much solved the whole problem okay one more thing okay one more thing after jumps after jumps what i have to do i have to add in our set so i will check for uh, checked dot add i and cycle set dot add i so i think now we are done we are now done now let's see the our result i might see if any error is there let's submit it okay there is um, there is a problem let me see cycle set mm. okay so i think i i messed up right here before jump we have to store our older uh, our older indices before jumping so now it will run So it's a pretty much fast, you know. If you code this, uh, co uh, if you code this in C plus plus or Java, I would say that it will be hundred percent faster. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.